Hey, it's Kim Commando today, your daily podcast to keep you up to date with all things digital and beyond. And I'd love to have you be a part of our podcast. You can make an appointment to speak with me. Just head over to commando.com and on the top right, there's a button that says email Kim, fill that out and that's it. You know, I always like to start with something interesting and it happened 21 years ago, 21 years ago. Think about what could that have been? On October 23rd, 2001 to be exact, using the slogan, 1,000 songs in your pocket, Steve Jobs introduced the first iPod. It had a whopping, whoa, five gig hard drive, firewire connectivity, and synchronization to iTunes. It had a 1.8 inch drive, and it was significantly smaller, and the firewire port allowed simultaneous charging and syncing of music. That was a really big deal 21 years ago that they figured that out. But what's interesting is, I don't know if you remember, if you had one, is that you could name your iPod. And the whole idea is that when you plugged your iPod in, is that you knew it was your iPod versus somebody else in the family's iPod. So John's iPod, that's what it would say when you plugged it in, or Mary's iPod. Well, I remember this. I named my iPod the Titanic, so that this way, when I plugged it into my computer, it said, the Titanic is sinking. You know, I thought it was funny, like a little geek humor for you. And on that happy note, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another hour of America's greatest source for all things digital. It's your most trusted source. You can find us in over 425 top stations from coast to coast. And we're streaming in your favorite radio app. You just want to search for my last name, Commando. And that's with a K, of course. And if you want to support what we're doing, make sure that you sign up, become a Commando community member. If you've learned just one thing from us, why don't you go ahead and try out a community membership? We give you 30 days free. And with that, you get the podcast, you get the webcast, you can watch us do the show. Everything's commercial free. If you ever miss a show, you miss something, you can go ahead and get into the archives. There's three months worth of archives. And then we also have the really popular Q&A tech forum. So that's when you have any tech questions, you can go ahead and just drop them in the forum. So anyway, it's over at getkim.com. And there are discounts for seniors, military, and service personnel. And again, that's getkim.com. All right, every single day I scour the news sites and I read white papers and I talk to my friends inside the industry so that this way I can always stay up to date on everything digital. And this is part of the show where I like to talk about consumer tech, things that are changing that you use or maybe something that you might want to buy or something that you shouldn't buy. And we begin with something that no one should ever buy. No one. It's a gaming bed. Yes, you heard me right. It's a gaming bed. It's a queen or king size bed built specifically for video gamers. So that this way, you never have to worry about getting up. That's right. And getting up and to play GTA, Minecraft, or Super Mario, you can just wake up and play all day and all night just right in bed. It has these vibrant green LED lights that frame the perimeter of the bed frame and the headboard. Uh, at the foot of the bed is a built-in 32-inch flat-screen TV. You just press a button, the TV magically lifts out of the bed at the precise angle best for video gaming while you're in bed. It has storage space for gaming consoles, <laughs> headset holders, USB ports on each side. Wow. Hmm. The price of the gaming bed, you ready? $1,800. Wow. Talk about a game changer. It might be time to make a switch. Uh, number two, RVers start saving now. I get this question a lot. What's the best way to get internet in my RV? Drop it like a hotspot because now there's Starlink's RV flat high performance plan. The antenna is about 35% bigger than the dish on your house. The tech inside has all kinds of GPSs that let you get satellite internet wherever you're moving. Of course, it's weather resistant and you're going to mount this bad boy right on your TV, uh, right on your RV so there's no taking it with you outside. Coming out in December, it's pricey. The dish in the mount costs $2,500. The monthly service is $135. Now, let me give you a secret. If you don't need to have access on the go in your RV all the time, just buy the $600 Starlink antenna, and the service is $110 a month. But this is also handy if you're when you're not cruising around in your RV and it's parked in your, I don't know, your front driveway, you're in a storage place, that you can turn off the RV so you just pay for it when you use it. Uh, number three in our list is I spy with my little eye. If you have any newer Nest cameras or doorbells released since 2021, Google's making a change that you're going to like. It's a new way for you to check out what's going on at home. So no, no longer do you have to pull up the app on your phone. You can do it right there inside your web browser. You're going to go to this address, home.google.com, instead of home.nest.com. And you sign into your account. This way you can turn on the cameras 
uh, take a closer look, but you can't look at any recorded videos for some reason. You know, on my back patio, let me tell you, see, there are owls every year. They decide to have their babies right in the rafters, right behind a uh, outdoor speaker and right behind a camera that I have out there. And what's really great is I, I can sign on and I can get owly updates. Uh, number four on our list, Google's amping up. Right, Google Workplace users, you are getting a massive bump in storage, and you're getting it for free. Normally, you get 15 gigs of storage. If you want more, you have to pull out your credit card, but not anymore. Uh, Google's giving you all one terabyte of space for free. It's added to your account automatically. You don't have to do anything. They're also making some changes with Gmail. When you want to send out those marketing emails, you want to make it look like it's personalized. Well, now you can do kind of like a mail merge and say, at first name, which is also handy. If you're using Google Meet, you can soon get automatic transcriptions of your meetings in the form of a Google Doc. See, Google is competing with Zoom, so they're trying to up their ante. And finally, this, last at number five, just say no to nudes, right? It's a problem when you're dating when somebody wants to send you those pics. You know what I'm talking about. It's cause for a new dating trend. It's called digital consent. It's the name of the about asking for permission. So when you're dating, you say something like, do you want to take this conversation to a more intimate level? It can even be more forward than that. Hey, is it okay if I send you a naked pic? Uh, No matter the answer, if you're doing any type of online dating, what I want you to always remember, (laughs) once somebody takes a picture, there's no way to take it back after you send it. All right, you want to stay right where you are because coming up in just a few moments, how you can surf the internet, use the internet without being tracked. And of course, we have all of your phone calls you don't want to miss. How'd you like to hear about how I saved $456 in just five minutes? I used an app called Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Can you remember all the free trials and all the other random subscriptions that you've signed up for? Of course you don't, and that's what they're banking on. I love that with Rocket Money, I can see all of my subscriptions in one place. Then if I see something I don't want, I just tap to cancel, and I never have to get on the phone with customer service. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year, with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. Stop wasting money on things that you just don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash Kim. That's rocketmoney.com slash Kim. Rocketmoney.com slash Kim. Hey, if you're ever too shy to call our T-Mobile Unlimited listener line at one 825 5254 just a reminder, you can always drop me your question. Just head over to commando.com, and in the upper right-hand corner, there's a link that says Email Kim. All right, Joshua, you're our first caller. Welcome to the show. Um, I love the show. I love actually getting your emails, too. Thank you. Makes it real easy to, to keep up to, up to date on stuff. Well, there's always um, something that's happening in the tech world, ain't it? <laughs> it's like oh, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was calling. I was looking at my kids are starting to grow up, and they need to get some technology in their life. I was looking at getting them some watches that okay. – they can make phone calls from, we'd be able to track, and wanted to find out what kind of recommendations you would have for that. So how old are the kids? Um, I have seven kids. Wow. Ranging, yeah. They range from 14 to six. <laughs> okay. You were questioning that last one, I'm just saying. So <laughs> you're, you're like, I have seven kids, 14 to uh, six, I think. Yes, that one. <laughs> <laughs> You're cute, Josh. You are. Um, Thanks. So, boys, girls, how many do you have? I have uh, four girls and three boys. Boy, God bless you. That's fabulous. You know what? That's wonderful. Mm-hmm. That is really wonderful. All right. And so, the 14 year old boy or girl? That's a girl. Okay. And then the next one is what? A uh, girl. Okay. And she's what? 12? And she is 12. Okay. Mm-hmm. 12. Uh, and then the next one is going to be a boy okay. who is 11. Okay. And let me see. Then I got a girl. Yep. A girl who is nine. Okay. I got two boys who are eight. Oh, we had twins. Perfect. 
Uh, well, not twins. We adopt, we've adopt. we actually adopted five of them. Oh, so wow. Oh, 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 look at you. Now, you know what? You're even more of a gold. You're even a su- <laughs> more of a superstar. That is amazing. You know, really, oh, truly, you. for you and your your wife to open your home and your hearts out like that. That's that's really something, you know? No, thank you. Yep. And then you yeah. got then you got your six year old. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, you know the the solution for the fourteen year old is different than the solution for is well maybe the twelve and the fourteen year old can be the same. The eleven nine and then we start getting a little bit younger. Mm-hmm. Uh, we probably don't want to have all those bells and whistles quite yet, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. So. Is your goal to put put something on them in their person so that you always know where they are? Or what are you concerned about? Well, a couple of them are starting to get to the point where they want to be able to have some technology in their life. Um, my 12-year-old, we do have her a phone. Okay. Um, my 14-year-old, she has been she's developmentally delayed. Okay. Um, so she's more of a first grade mentally, okay. unfortunately. And so we're not even thinking about a phone for her, but maybe a watch, you know, one that she could call like three or four people on it. And then we can control when she's able to do that and what app she has on that. And that's kind of what I want for all of them. Okay. All right. I'm just, I'm, you know, you hear me hesitating because I'm, I'm thinking the 14 year old on a first with a first grade Mm-hmm. Then we're then we're looking at the two for the the two eight year old boys and the six year old. They're probably going to be in the same bucket, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. So they're in the same bucket, and then we've got the twelve year old who has a phone. Uh, what type mm-hmm. of phone does she have? Uh, she I got a uh, cheap one from a dollar store, so it's an Android. Okay, so she's got an Android phone, and then the eleven and nine, they they don't have anything, right? Nope, they don't have anything. Okay, so here's here's what I want to do. Is I this is now the second time I, I just did this in this hour, but I'm giving myself some homework. <laughs> is I what I'd like to do? I mean, you know, the, the probably the the de facto standard, like for maybe the twelve year old, would be mm-hmm. would be a Verizon gizmo. I mean, okay. Uh, it's a great thing. It's a, it's, you know, it's expensive. It's one hundred and seventy nine dollars with monthly fees. Uh, yep. So that's why I was trying to figure out if there was a way. I mean, if you if you just want to put something on their person as a tracker, you could mm-hmm. buy uh, you could buy a tile tracker and slip it in their backpack or whatever an Apple AirPod and you put it on their belt loop or you know whatever it may be, mm-hmm. and you get mm-hmm. a four pack of those uh, for ninety nine bucks and there's no monthly fees. Okay. So, so, so the question is: to, So, do we need the six-year-old to be able to push a button to call for help? Probably not. Okay. And how about the eight-year-olds? Um, maybe having some uh, being able to call people. Okay. So, all right. So the six-year-old we don't, but the eight, the nine, so everybody else we need to, and including let's mm-hmm. give the fourteen-year-old a way to call for help too. OK, yeah. just, okay. just because she's, you know, she's a little she's developmentally, as you said, challenged. So I want to make sure we do that. So let yeah. me let me let me do some good homework on his. OK. OK. And uh, because it's not just one solution, it's not just like, oh, here, go get this watch. <laughs> um, the 14 year old, is she autistic? Um. No, she is not autistic. Okay. All right. Because there are some watches made specifically for people who are on that spectrum. Okay. Um, and that's why I was just diving a little bit more into that. Um, any other issues with any of the other kids? Um, nothing. Uh, they, they all have their own problems, believe me, with the number of psych visits we have every week. But... Uh, no, not really. Okay. All right. Well, I get that. I, I understand. So I have my notes. I'll work on this over the weekend. Okay. Okay. And then I will shoot you an email and I want you to look at the ones that I select for each of the children. And then if there are any issues, 
Mm -hmm. uh, with you affording any of these watches, I am I will pay for them for the kids. Oh wow! Well, thank you. Because um, you hear me as a, you probably hear I do random acts of kindness, and <laughs> my heart goes out to you for taking these seven children into your home and to your life, and you know not just now but forever. You know you're you're their mm -hmm. forever home. And which yeah. is wonderful that you did this and with your wife. And so uh, so I'm going to pick out all the watches for the seven kiddos and then mm -hmm. we'll figure out, you know, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to buy all the kids a watch. All right. Uh, OK, that's great. Thanks. Let me just, you know, rather than you going back and forth with me, I can't afford this. I can do this or whatever. OK, so let me just so it'd be my gift for you and to the kids. Let me pick them all out. But I'm going to send you my list first, okay, before I buy them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I want to make sure that you're on board with this. And these are watches that you say, oh, yeah, Johnny can do this one. Susie can handle this one. I'm going to give this one to Mary. And so because each kid has their little idiosyncrasies, I want to make sure that we give them the right solution uh, for this environment that, that you are so wonderful in bringing these kids into. So, Josh, thank you for your call. You'll hear from me. Uh, probably early part of next week, and then we can go back and forth via email. Hey, and don't forget about the Apple AirTags. You can always drop one inside your kid's backpack or their pants. And they also have these little holders, by the way, for sale on Amazon, so you can put the, on the kid's belt or even as a necklace. All right, so you collect cookies whenever you browse the web. But the benefits of cookies is that you don't have to log in. But cookies contain a lot of details, and you can delete the cookies in just a few steps. Or better yet, use incognito mode. When you surf the web incognito, your browser doesn't save your history, the cookies, the site data, or any information that you enter into forms. So on Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge, just press Control-Shift-N on Windows or on your Mac. You know, it's never Control. It's Command-Shift-N on a Mac. Once again, that's Control-Shift-N or Command-Shift-N on a Mac. Stay right where you are. We have more of your phone calls and brand new or not true coming right up. You don't want to miss. How'd you like to hear about how I saved $456 in just five minutes? I used an app called Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Can you remember all the free trials and all the other random subscriptions that you've signed up for? Of course you don't. And that's what they're banking on. I love that with Rocket Money, I can see all of my subscriptions in one place. Then if I see something I don't want, I just tap to cancel, and I never have to get on the phone with customer service. Rocket Money has over 5 million users, and it has helped save its members an average of $720 a year, with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. Stop wasting money on things that you just don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash Kim. That's rocketmoney.com slash Kim. Rocketmoney.com slash Kim. That's right. It is time now for Brand New or Not True. It's America's national radio game show sensation where you can play along and guess, is it brand new or is it not true? I dreamt up this game show years and years ago because I see so many different products and press releases and I sit there, I shake my head. I'm like, what were they thinking? And then that turns into a billion dollar company. Or other times I look at it, I'm like, what the heck was that? I'm sure glad I don't have my money wrapped up into it. So that's where Brand New or Not True comes from. And so I present you, the home viewer, the listener, as well as a very special guest contestant, three products in the tech world. Now, two are completely fake. I made them up. Okay, They don't exist. But one product is absolutely true. And you'll notice that there are no product names that are given because, well, some people are known to cheat. And we don't like cheaters here in commando land. Not at all. And if you, if you are a special guest contestant and you win, you get the much-coveted fanny pack, the official Kim Commando Show fanny pack, and that goes to the winner. And also every contestant gets a special treat from Dr. Marty's Nature's Blend Dog Food. That's right, a value of $59.95. You're going to get a free bag of Dr. Marty's Nature's Blend Dog Food. Now, joining us this week is Richard in Kansas City. Hello there, Richard. Hi, how are you, Kim? I'm great. What do you do there in Kansas City? I'm in healthcare. I'm a physician here in Kansas City. Oh, are you? Oh, you're a doctor. That's great. So you are super smart, and so you, I bet, are going to win Brand New or Not True, right? Well, I really want that fanny pack, so I'm going to do my best. 
<laughs> okay. All right. Let's get started with product number one. Uh, so many people are keeping chickens in their backyard, and it's a lot of work. But now we have the Smart Chicken Coop. It's designed to be modular, waterproof, and easy to clean. And remember, there are sensors, because it's smart, that will track when the chickens are entering and leaving the coop, and even on a schedule in case you want to let your kitchen, your chickens free range for a few hours in the afternoon. And at dusk, the smart door will automatically close to protect your chickens. And then there are also sensors that will alert you when eggs are in the coop. And then there's a smart speaker because the chickens actually will lay more eggs when it's conducive to music. And they like music that's more than just Mozart's bok, bok, bok. Mm, I know that's bad. Uh, there are also multiple Wi-Fi cameras that well, you can put inside the coop and an app that lets you control the doors and the cameras. So if you're looking for a smart, fluffy butt hut that holds five to seven chickens, you got it, and it's 600 bucks. Product number two. Do you ever wish you could take a shower and start singing along? Well, now you can. You can listen to your music, your podcast, your audiobooks in the shower and this is a different shower head, though. It has a built-in waterproof speaker that pairs with your phone using Bluetooth. But this is the interesting thing. When you want to take your speaker with you, you can. You just remove the waterproof speaker from the shower head. Then you can take it to the beach, the pool, camping. And you have to remove it to charge anyway. The battery lasts, lasts nine hours. And then you can also use it to make phone calls when you're in the shower, too. It comes with Alexa, so you can talk to her if you get lonely. And the Amazon reviews are mixed. One guy says, don't waste money on it. But the review right underneath actually says, my wife gets naked and dances more in the shower, and I love it so much. I hope she doesn't insist on a shower cap for me. Uh, $205. And finally, product number three, people are traveling more than ever because the pandemic is over. So there's a new app, and think of it as Tinder, but for high altitudes. So this way you can meet people when you're traveling. So here's how it works. You create a profile with your picture, your first name, your age, your occupation, flight number, and your travel dates, and you specify whether you're traveling for business or pleasure. Then you'll see a list of travelers on the same flight who you can potentially start a conversation with at the gate or during the flight. And then before you meet a complete stranger just happens to be heading in the same direction, don't worry, there's a chat window that opens up where you can do like a pre-flight check. And just make sure that you pair up before you have to put your phone on in airplane mode or the, or the Wi-Fi on the plane maybe doesn't work. Uh, the app's motto is make your trip worth remembering. It's $20 per flight. Okay, so here we are, doctor. We have number one is the chicken coop. Number two is the smart shower speaker. And product number three is the dating app. What do you think? Which one is the real product? Well, I know someone who has a chicken coop, and they have troubles with foxes getting in, a lot of things like that. But I'm not sure how high-tech the chickens are. Uh, the 20, you know, the high altitude app, not sure about that, but I sure hear a lot about people singing in the shower. I'm going to go with number two, the attachment for the shower head. I think to me that sounds like the most likely product that's out there. All right. All right. He's going for the, the Kim Commando Show official fanny pack and the Dr. Marty's Nature's Blend dog food. Let's see what the judges say. It's their Moxie shower head. They've got a few different versions. This particular one is Bluetooth, so it pairs with any iPhone or Android That's phone. right. And once you've done that... You've got it you right, Doc. You've got it right. And that audio, I, I actually pulled that audio from Home Depot in Canada. I couldn't find anybody who was actually talking about it. So, yes, the uh, so you did win the fanny pack as well as you got Dr. Marty's Nature's Blend, the premium freeze-dried raw dog food that contains zero artificial preservatives, fillers, or meat meal. You can learn more and save 54% at drmartypets.com slash Kim. All right. So you won. I'm excited for you. And I know you have a question for me. So how can I help you out? Well, I'm both, as I get older, I'm a, both a clinician taking care of people, but also a patient myself. And I'm trying to figure out how to store and organize like the physician's notes, the lab, the x-rays, pharmacy stuff. I want something that's both I can store, but I can sort of, if I need to, can make copies for other people like my providers. And I'm just having mm -hmm. a hard time finding, you might say, an efficient way and also something that's going to be around so endurable. I'm hoping going to be a patient, you know, for many, 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 many years. I'm still young, I'd like to think. Right. So I'm looking for some type of storage, either an app or software. I'm just not finding something that looks like it's designed for that at this time. Do you wear an Apple Watch? No, I actually have a different brand. I do have an iPhone, but I have a different brand okay. smartwatch. 
Okay. Um, well, okay, so you do have an iPhone. Okay, inside, on your iPhone, is that you have the health app, okay? Um, have you ever really delved into that? Have you looked at the, into that at all? Just a little bit. I noticed that when I updated to the recent iOS, it looked a little bit different. But no, I started looking at it, the medications, a few things like that, but just barely. Okay. Um, it really has this major overhaul. And the reason why I asked about the Apple Watch is that the Apple Watch will keep track of your blood oxygen level, um, your heart rate and your steps and your exercise and your cadence and your symmetry and all these other good factors about our bodies, correct? And at the bottom, when you open up the health app, of course, like you said, there's medications where you can import your medications. But at the bottom, as you start scrolling down, it's where you can say, I want to add my health care provider. And that's where you can add, say, for example, um, like I just had my eyes checked at UCLA because I need to get a, a cornea transplant or something like that. I've had one 40 years ago, and it still works great, but I'm looking at different options because technology has totally changed the, the ophthalmology uh, departments. And so at the bottom, that's where you can add your health care providers. And so I added UCLA. Um, I also go to Mayo. And so that's where you, I added at the bottom, you can add the Mayo system. And because so many of these are using the Epic system, that all these records are interacting and if you had an Apple Watch, is that what it would also appear as part of your health records on Epic or where, wherever it may be, is that your provider would also get, uh, if you were an AFib at any time or what your uh, BPM looks like and how much you're exercising and good things like that. Unfortunately, it's that's where it kind of ends at this point, meaning that I wish there was a way that you could add your Walgreens or CVS automatically. Um, but with the health app, that's where you. Um, but that's where you can add your providers, and it does work pretty seamlessly. And you have access to it as well as your provider will have access to all your other records. Now, if you're looking for something a little bit more than that, a little bit more than that, uh, there's something called, and I wish that they, they had a better name for it, but they don't. But it's called MTBC. MTBC. Um, it allows you to check appointment histories and your health records and your lab reports, which, by the way, the Apple Health app also, if you have labs that are being done by a major corporation, those are going to be in there as well. So you might want to try the health app because it's already on your phone. And then if you need something else, just take a look at that, this MTBC. It's available on Android and iOS, but I really think that because you have an iPhone and everything's all integrated – that it might be the easiest way for you to at least get started uh, because, again, as I mentioned, is that you are able to add your providers, your lab results, but you do have to add your medications separately. But I imagine that's probably going to change fairly quickly as Apple has a strong push into the health industry, as you can see, with their wearables and um, also their glasses that are going to be coming out. So just take a look at the Apple Health app first. And then if you need anything more than that, Richard, uh, just give me a call back and I'm happy to talk about alternatives and maybe some other ways that you might be able to track your health. And thank you for uh, winning on Brand New or Not True. I'm super excited for you. And again, thank you for your call. All right. This week's Digital Life Hacks tip, I'm just going to tell you right now, it's something that you have to go to the website to actually see. Because we did all the research for you to find the best phone case that's just right for you. So whether you're looking for a rugged phone case, an anti-drop case, a really pretty case, an artistic cover, a sleek minimalist cover, uh, one that holds your credit cards, we've got it all there for you. We picked every single phone case that you're going to love. And, you know, it's always good to have a case on. I know that Apple says you don't need one, but I have one on mine too, and I think you should. So anyway, check out the whole list by heading to commando.com and then just hit the link that says... Kim show right at the top. Still to come, we've got more of your phone calls as well as how you can buy unclaimed Amazon packages here on the Kim Commando Show. How'd you like to hear about how I saved $456 in just five minutes? I used an app called Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Can you remember all the free trials and all the other random subscriptions that you've signed up for? 
Of course you don't. And that's what they're banking on. I love that with Rocket Money, I can see all of my subscriptions in one place. Then if I see something I don't want, I just tap to cancel and I never have to get on the phone with customer service. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. Stop wasting money on things that you just don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash Kim. That's rocketmoney.com slash Kim, rocketmoney.com slash Kim. All right, back to the phones we go with Mary in Omaha, Nebraska. Hi there, Mary. Hi, this is great to talk to you. I'm excited. (laughs) Well, thank you. Thank you. What's going on? How can I lend a hand? Well, um, actually, I'm trying hard or trying hard not to be retired. I'm supposed to be. And I keep picking up odd assignments. <laughs> and the one that I'm on right now is a project where I was allowed by the employer to bring their computer home. And I'm part of the assignment is to compare rent rates, apartment rent rates in another county. And so I have spent several days on that. And then in my spare time in the evening or in the morning, I pick up my phone and I look on Facebook and advertisements for those apartments in that other county are popping up all over my Facebook. You're like, Um, whoa, what's going on? Yeah, and I don't have time for weird except for Halloween maybe, so I don't like that, (laughs) and I want to get rid of it. (laughs) So, Well, here's what's happening, is that when you are doing the searching on that home computer, or the computer, rather, that you brought home, mm -hmm. is that it's using your home's IP address. And then when you're signing on to Facebook, it's recognizing that you are at the same IP address. And so it's mm-hmm. putting the two and two together and saying, hmm, let's see, Mary must be looking for apartments. So let's see if we can help <laughs> her out and make a few bucks along the way. And so what you can do inside your Facebook settings, and we'll send you the, the whole steps on how to do this, is Great. that you're going to turn off uh, an option called off Facebook activity. And that's exactly what it says. You're telling Facebook, do not track me when I'm not on Facebook. And and we don't want anything that's based on location ads as well. And so we're going to turn off um, allowing apps to request to track and turn that off. We're also going to turn off location-based ads and turn that off. And then we're also going to turn off this off Facebook activity. Now, all of these options are in the settings and privacy hamburger menu when you sign in. And then you have to Mm -hmm. go under settings. But it gets kind of cumbersome to do all that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you the exact instructions on how to do this, Mary, to your email address. And then for everybody else, if you're like, hey, I'd like to turn all that garbage off too, you can search commando.com for Facebook privacy settings. And again, you're looking for to turn off location-based ads as well as this off Facebook activity and turn off the request for Apple for apps that can also track you. So you want to turn off all of that so this way – All that creepiness. Yes. Not even during Halloween will all go away. And Mary, thank you so much for your call. You have to remember, Facebook is free because you are the product. So anytime they can get any data on you and sell it to somebody else, they are going to do it. Hey, if you like quick tips, digital tips, things that are going to make a difference in your life every single day, make sure that you get my podcast, The Daily Tech Update, just two 60 seconds Every single day. That's two 60-second podcasts. That's it. Just a minute. And one is a news story and one is a digital life hack. It's a secret that you're going to use time and time again because, after all, our tech just doesn't come with manuals. So wherever you get your podcast, just search for Commando with a K and make sure that you subscribe or follow to the Daily Tech Update so this way you get our podcasts even when you're sleeping. All right. you ever wonder what happens to online orders at the U.S. Postal Service or Amazon that they just can't deliver? It gets sold online, often at really cheap prices. Uh, one website is govdeals.com, which the UPS, I'm sorry, the USPS contracts to auction undelivered goods. Now, you're not bidding on a mystery box. You can actually see a photo and description of each item. Now, another website to check is liquidation.com. Now, the great thing about this site is that you can filter by brand or retailer. So you can get packages and undelivered goods from Amazon, Target, Walmart, or Home Depot. Now, in the auction details, you get a description, the auction closing times, and an estimated value. 
But keep in mind that some of the products you're bidding on may have been returned, not in pristine, not in pristine condition, and there's no way for you to send it back. Or sites again, govdeals.com and liquidation.com. The Kim Commando Show has been brought to you from coast to coast here on the Westar Multimedia Network.